I'm locked out of my iPhone and the only way that I can get back in is logging in using my Apple ID. But what if you don't have your Apple ID password? Believe me, getting locked out of your phone comes with a truckload of pain. So you do want to set up your Apple ID password, but also set up recovery. Let me show you how to do that right now. Apple ID and password gives you access to all of your Apple services. So it's really, really important. Now, if you don't remember your Apple ID, you can go to appleid.apple.com. If you don't remember your Apple account, then hopefully you will at least know your phone number. And then if you forget your password, well, just click on that. Type in your email address or your phone number and your characters, and then you should get a password reset. Okay, I've just tried signing in and I've received an alert on my phone saying your Apple ID is being used to sign in on the web. Am I going to allow that? And I'm going to say yes. And it's sent me an Apple ID verification code, which I'll now type in. Hang on a minute, didn't you say your phone was locked? Well, yeah, I'm showing you how to do this. But if your phone is locked, then you need a backup recovery person. And I'm going to show you where you can set that up. You really want to do that now before your phone gets locked out. So if I click on account recovery here, I can see that it is not set up. So what I want to do is set up a recovery contact. Account recovery contact is someone who can verify your identity to help you regain access to your account. It's not required, but it can make regaining access to your account and data a lot easier. Your contact needs an iOS device, maybe an iPad or a Mac or something else that meets the minimum requirements. Now, they're not going to have any access to your account. All they're going to do is give you a code that's going to help you log in again. Your recovery contact must be over 13 years old. Then you can go in and add your recovery contact. Now, you don't have to do this from a Mac or from a website. You can do this on your iPhone or your iPad. Go into settings and then click on your name here and then sign in and security. Just be aware that some of these options, these menus change from time to time when there are new versions of the OS. And then you're going to add a recovery contact. You'll be really glad that you did it. Because then if you do forget your Apple ID password or you get locked out of your account, you follow the steps, your recovery contact is going to get a six-digit code and then you enter that on your device and that will just save you a lot of time and a lot of pain if you do lose your Apple ID password. If you know somebody who needs to see this video, or to check the links in the description below, then please share the video with them.